Morning everybody, it's day three of the Maryborough RACV Midwinter Rally and we've woken up to a frost this morning. So I've got my cup of tea here and behind me you can see that's the Maryborough Duck Pond and it looks quite magnificent with the um, steam, smoke, moisture, whatever it is floating over the top of the water there and the ducks paddling about. Pretty good. Our campsite is right behind me here. There's the camper, yes, and everything's frosty, so we're going to go on. Good job we covered up the Scots last night and we put antifreeze in the radiators because Scots do not tolerate frost at all. So we'll get some brekkie, finish our cup of tea and get the bike started. And we've got to run off down to the other side of Maryborough to the uh, main rally base this morning because it is the Maryborough Cold Start competition. And let's see, we've got a couple of dollars on a couple of people and um, see if we can win our money back. And here we have a wild Katrina, preening herself, ready for a day's motorcycle riding. You don't often see them on their own in the wild. They're dangerous, highly volatile and high maintenance. It was very tempting to write something in the frost on the windscreen of Mary's Range Rover, but I resisted. Let's go, frosty. Are you ready? <laughs> so as usual, we just push the spots off. There goes Katrina on her 1915 Scott. She's going to loop back round and then I'll put her on the 1911 and push her off on that and then we'll get both bikes going. It was certainly a cold morning so it was well worth just pushing these off and giving them an easy time. They both fired up easy. Let's go. I'll ride Katrina's 1915 down to the cold start comp because she's already headed off on my 1911. Should have taken that mirror before I left. Oh well, we'll sort that out when we get to the uh, other side of Mary Road. So this behind me is the cool start challenge. So you've got to honk your horn, run around your car, start your car, and then run around your car and honk your horn again. And the person with the fastest time wins. Let's have a look and see who's gonna win this morning. Bear in mind it's below freezing now, so it's gonna be tricky. Here we go, young fit guy in an overland. Usually the overlands start very easily, but this cold weather, that looked like it was trying to turn treacle in the engine. No vamos with that one, it's a fail. You can do it, Jack. Keep going. Totally in fourth. Go, then. You can do it. Use your other arm. Come on, Jack. When you're ready. All right, I'm doing it. Early morning squeeze. <laughs> no, praying to it. <laughs> That's our current leader, and that was a fair effort. Well done. seven seconds. Let's see what Peter Fagan can do on the bike. If you get going, thick oil. But that was a good effort. I think he came second or third overall at the end of this. 
Well done, Pete. Are you ready? Yep. Here's James. Again, young, fit lad. I think everybody had put quite a bit of money on him. But no. That's a fail as well. That makes the Italia the certain winner. Well done, everybody. After all the fun of that cold start competition, we got the Scots fired up and we're going to head out to Talbot. And we're going to go the scenic route, which takes us through a long triangle, but it'll take us down some nice quiet roads, we hope, out of Maryborough. And at Talbot, it's the Sunday farmer's market today, so that should be a real good experience to go there and get our lunch. Let's go. It was a very pleasant ride and there was only a little bit of traffic and we had a great run and we arrived at the crossroads here in Talbot and at the top of that hill is the farmers market. Let's go and get parked up and have a look. We're here in Talbot and it's the famous farmers market so we've got all the cars and bikes assembled out the front of the courthouse hotel which unfortunately with the sun I don't think you can see but we'll have a look over there so we're gonna have a look around the market get a coffee get something tasty for lunch so the farmers market at Talbot is held once a month and it really does take over the town all of the main streets are closed to traffic and there's market stalls selling all sorts of stuff from bric-a-bac antiques imported signs and things um, candles home crafts and of course a lot of food and coffee Katrina had a good look around and we bought a couple of things from the tool shop and you can see some of the historic buildings in the background and there you go you can even buy a dream catcher if you want but the main reason why we were here was for lunch so after heading around we managed to find the street that's got all the tuck up there was even a stand selling chickens we surveyed what was available and we thought we'll give the pumpkins a miss and we decided Z and Co with their free range farm sound good. So a lamb roll and a pork roll were purchased. Katrina, what have you got? Full pork roll. It's delicious. And mm -hmm. lamb. I'm gonna have half of each. So yummy. Tasty. After lunch and a good look round, the cars and the motorbikes started to slowly wander back to Maryborough. Let's join them. That's it, we're done in Talbot. We're going to head back to Mary Barrett and that'll be the end of the rally. All good. Tasty lunch. You enjoyed it? Loved it. Yeah, yeah we got a tasty lunch at the market. Taking the long way home. We're going to take the long way home through Red Lion and Craigie and that'll get us back to Mary Barrett. Let's go. The handy hill here in Talbot works well for starting the Scot, so we're going to paddle it off, get it going, we'll chase Katrina.
Is that it? Bikes packed? I hope you got our meds on. Get your feet away. We're back in Maryborough. Bikes ran great. It's a glorious day and it's Pulling been a up. good rally. We haven't had any problems with the bikes, have we? Bikes ran well. So there you go, two veteran Scots. We've done, I don't know, 200, 250k or something this weekend without any problems. I didn't run out of fuel today. No? <laughs> no. So we're all good. Um, the next rally for these, we're going to be in Bundaberg for the National, one and, oh no, the National Veteran Motorcycle Rally. That's in August. So this was our shakedown for that. So we will see you in Bundaberg. Oh. Hope you've enjoyed the video and please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. <laughs> That's it for this rally, but thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bundaberg next. Let's go.